Hi guys, welcome back to my Steven World and we are back on Shamrock and we're not going to waste any time, we are going to he head straight on into the action today. So things this happened since last episode is I've now got my Logitech joystick. As you can see I can look left and right by twisting it, up and down and then I can also control the boom of the telehandler. Which is brilliant. This made the whole thing a hell of a lot easier for me. I can look left a lot quicker, I can look right a lot quicker, and just, you know, arrow keying it. So, but anyway, tasks for today is to take this up to the field where we started bailing in episode one. And we are going to start getting them ready. Uh, either to be stacked or ready to be put on a trailer. Preferably, I want to get them on a wagon, really, and get them in shelter. But uh, currently, our second wagon has got flat tire at the moment, so that ain't going nowhere. And yeah, and the other one, as you know, is sitting at the bar and fully loaded. We have bought another one. Um, but spares and repairs, and yeah, it's it's currently sat in a hedgerow somewhere on somebody else's farm. But we are going to put it up because we do need the extra bail trailer. Just we got a feeling that the bail trailer that's not flat tire for us actually could be something worse. And we reckon that where it's been sat all year is the axle might have given up the ghost as well on one side. But, we'll soon find out, but anyway, what we're going to do right this second is don't jump in the 7810, and we're going to hook up the header wagon. Is there around this bell? Oh. Right, so this the combine doesn't have any need to be in the field right now. Obviously, it's finished its season. Make sure nothing's in its way. Yeah, it's finished its season. It's not needed. Um, so we don't take it back to the yard now. It'll have a clean down. And uh, yeah, I'll clean off and then sit in the shed for another year, I guess. Until next year when we need to go back out again. I think that's on. Yep, brilliant. Oh, it's a little bit stewish, but as long as it is down the road, alright. We're out with it, right. So what we're going to do is we need to raise that ladder up and hopefully we can get around the front of the JD. And I think I just backed into a bale but no worries. They're big and strong. The net didn't hold it. And if it falls apart it can always bait it back up. But yeah. So yeah this uh, joystick allows me to look left and right a hell of a lot easier. And a hell of a lot quicker. But also, I can do it down, look up. Uh, when, I've got the when I've actually got the header on, I can use it to ra raise and lower the reel as well and extend it. Um, yeah, good bit of kit. Worth it. 100%. And it makes my life a lot easier handling bales. So it's more realistic. I've got it on the right hand side, so yeah. But anyway, enough about that. So yeah, we're gonna head back to the yard, put this in the shed for the year. Probably will make another appearance before winter just to clean it off, but that's not any major rush and do that was it's in winter time. We just gotta focus on getting the last of the crop done. Um yeah, getting the last of the crop bailed up and then get those bailed in. 
and then we can start bedding. So yeah. Part that's in the shed. Uh, probably be easier to drive than actually. Right, are we safe and so engine on. Helpful. Right. So, we shall now... Right. We've done a, did a nice nice jog up to the field because I still haven't got my landy back. Hopefully one Mac comes back. The other Mac. He brings the landy with him as he lives right next to the mechanic. Um... So hopefully he can bring the farm landy back. Hopefully. If he doesn't, we're without the landy for yeah, another day to where it could be used. But hey ho. Life goes on I guess. So yeah, anyway guys, hope you've been well. Hope you're enjoying the more frequent content. Whether you like farm sim or not, there will be will be called coming out in the next couple of days so keep an eye out for that if you like Call of Duty and you like the Black Ops 4 content that we give you So what we're going to do is take this header and park it up and yeah, put it away and probably head back on up the field I expect. I expect to be in the key term here, I don't quite know yet. Um, so, let's have a look in the sheds, this has got to go in there, but, the trailer is quite long, we are thinking of reducing the drawbar, get the angle grinder out, reduce the drawbar, and, uh, that's another winner job, it's nothing major. You get it in there, look. It's nice and simple. Alright, let's miss the front of that JD and not rip the front off it. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? That'll do us. The 7810 can actually sit over here because I have a job for it to do soon. 
So that's going to sit there for right now. So, what we shall do is we do need to do a back up the other field. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take another nice easy jog up to the field and uh, yeah, we're, we're taking a nice easy jog up, nice easy run up there, nice cheap fit. Especially on a lovely day like this. But, yeah, we're doing back up here. The Ford is still up here. So we could actually get on with some more bailing. And I think that's what we might actually do. Take the bailer out whilst it's still dry. Nice to be back in the machine. Right, so Bailer on, pitch up down, let's get going. Right, let's do it again. That's our first bed already out. Uh, it looks like this crop stayed in reasonable good form in the slight winds we had last night. If we can get all the straw off the ground now, that would be brilliant. Before the rain hits, it means you don't have to let the hay bob out. Um, so well, I was speaking with Matt on the phone the other day last night. Um, before after I did the first, after I got back from bailing yesterday, um, we were discussing silage issues, which is we don't know if we're going to have enough in our silage, and as I said, I said in the first vid, um, we may have to even buy silage in, but there will be a couple, there's like two or three weeks before winter really starts to hit and it's, that's too bad rain hits everything so what we're thinking is we might be able after the maze to get a small silage bell uh, harvest done just a small field we take so many turn out and single mower single jewel single disc mower and uh Get an old piece of email out there as well. Get the beta out there. Get a wrap out. What it says from the contractors down the road. They can help out. They said they would. And uh, yeah. We're trying to get some more silage bells, I reckon. Because I think that would be make us certain that we've got enough till the end of the, till the start of the next silage season. It would be brilliant. Because we're not done a we are done a sheet the maize silage, but we want that to feed our calves at the lower yard. Um the main reason being is the pit down there has already got a little bit in. And we need some down there to keep the calves happy. So we, can't, we don't want to keep taking the feeder up and down the road. We generally take the trailers down there when we fill up. So that'll be the first pit we fill up in the first cut next year. So that's the pit that needs to be filled first. So makes sense. Put the maze down there. If we use it, we use it. If we don't, we don't. We just put a cover over it. It's the unfortunate thing, none of the silage pits on this farm are covered. Um, we have thought about it and still thinking about it for the next season. We could get just some single steel beams, the corrugated iron, put up a Dutch barn over the bottom one. The ones up in the main yard won't be able to. 
they need to be properly done when they're built the solid concrete. The one down in the bottom yard is made out of sleepers, of railway sleepers, so you just hit weld on a steel beam onto the already one there. If not, you can take a steel beam out and put the sleepers back in, can't you, in a matter of days. It's, it's not a time consuming task, especially during winter time. Um, so, right, well, I reckon we can get all this done before the rain hits. Start, we might actually start a bit earlier than I actually thought we'd be able to, which is a great thing. To happen. Didn't think it was going to dry out overnight, so play. We're getting a good amount of bales off this field, which is the main thing. Um, so, yeah, we'll get this done. Uh, there'll be a couple of plowing videos as well coming out soon. Just during the end, if we don't, if we decide to go against it, the the plowing videos will come out a lot sooner if we don't do silage bales. Um, however, if we do, obviously it'll be pushed back a little bit. We tend to plow some, just plow. We don't tend to see them yet, but we plow them all during winter, during the winter periods. Bear in mind the front is not frozen and we get snow. If we get snow, uh, yeah, won't be plowing in that. Uh, so, what tends to happen is we tend to plow, plow it like now. We're actually slightly behind where we want it to be because this crop actually took a while to germinate when we planted it. So it's always going to be behind, it was always going to be a slow crop, but it managed to be one of the best yielding crops we had, so ups and downs, but all turns out positive in the end. So, don't know, we've got a lot left, have we? It's a good thing. The less we do when it starts raining and we can't carry on the better. I'm not too worried about the little bits on the ground. If we've got like half a bale or three quarters of a bale in the chamber, then obviously I'll pick them up to encourage it to come out a bit better, but it's not a problem. If a bale sits in the chamber, it sits in the chamber. It doesn't mean I can't open it when I get back to the yard. Let it fall on the floor, you know, open it in front of the towel. Towel shed and just push it on up in there, yeah. Right, we've got one over on this side here. So we're going to pick this up. Just try to touch the lava. Just love the roar of this engine. I believe my phone is going off, but they'll have to wait. A bit busy at the moment. A bit busy bailing. Also got that for free, so it's good. It's doing good, doing good. I got a feeling I've bent some of the pickup times. Um, I 
because it messes on the left hand side, don't quite know why, but it does. But, oh well, fits out if I want this out and done the workshop. Two swaths left guys, two swaths and then rotate the forward back to the yard. So let's ring it, not quite, generally there's a mist over the water down there. Uh, but it's nothing yet. Even though it's a trip time in the afternoon. Hopefully we get Hopefully. And that will be in it. And in the middle by the time we have to get these bales in and he can bring a wagon down and I can start loading up. The last bit. That's done then. Is it? I've managed to leave the door on. That's what I get for not concentrating. I'm going to show this. Not a lot. That's cool. Just put the job back down. Get this little bit up. Yeah, so those little bits can stay on the ground. I don't want to put too much in the chamber because the bale went around to at least 70% so there's not enough loose pieces in this field to actually make up 70% so there's no you know there's no major point picking it up so what we shall do is we shall stop here a minute raise the pick up, turn off let the ropes go down and record Let's bomb it off back to the yard then. So yeah, it'd be a field like that that we sort of get into silage or something. Something nice and small. That would be good. But it might not be needed yet, we'll see. See after we get the maze, and the maze is more important than anything. As we get our maze in, do you notice? Because, worst case scenario, we run out of silo, it's always that little bit bad to fall on. A little bit to fall back on, so. Yeah. But, we'll take this back to the yard, part this up, and then I think so that's where we'll end the episode this episode and, and hopefully next time I do 
I do a vlog. Um, we'll be uh, picking up the bales. So what we're going to do is for now, we're just going to park it. We will be taking it just around here for the moment. So what we'll do. Just spin it round in here and we will put it back up in the shed I think. Right, so what we can do is spin it. Try and spin it around here. And then uh, we will back her on up into the back corner there. Spin it up in here. Try not to jackknife it, that's my fault. Try to watch an idiot. And we'll just leave the 8210 here. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode on Shadow Rock and this vlog. The next one will be coming out very shortly. And until then, bye for now.